Hey, beef, yeah? hey, what's going on guys, Dignell here, and in today's video, uh, I'm going to be showing you the effect that you've just seen on screen. Uh, this is going to be a really quick tutorial because the effect is quite easy to make, uh, but personally I believe that it is a very clean effect, uh, and I like to use it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do is just, uh, I'm going to ignore the velocity part for this, it just doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and split the clip on the shot right there. I'm going to go ahead and back up 20 frames. So if it says 259 right there, we're going to back up to 239. We're going to split the clip right there. We're going to make a new video track. Uh, we're going to press U to separate it from the audio. I'm going to hold control. I'm going to drag it up. Now we have this little segment uh, behind the actual uh, kill here. And we're going to fade this in completely just like that. Uh, we're going to go into cropping. And we're going to select mask. And we're going to go on the very first keyframe. And we're going to make a, a circle around the, uh, the enemy right here. And we're going to set the feather type to both. And 25% I think will be good for this. Uh, after that, you go up into video effects, you search for glow, and you just apply it, and uh, select whichever color you want. I prefer green for this, I think it's quite nice. And just like that, we, uh, you know, we have some sort of effect. Uh, that's not all though, we can go ahead and recenter it, uh, just like that, I think. Should be good. Once you've done that, uh, you're going to go ahead and go up into your video effects tab and search for shake. Just going to drag the default on down here. Uh, you're going to want to disable X shake. Uh, you're going to want to disable tilt shake. And after you've done that, you're going to head into Y shake. You're going to want to set the uh, the wave amp to uh, like 0 0.05 and your wave frequency to like 1.5, something like that. Uh, just set your frequency up here to like 9 and uh, just go to the very end right here. Set your amplitude to uh, 1 and then go to the uh, the start and just drag it down to 0 and set this to a slow fade right here. And if you can see, it actually does sort of a uh, cool pre-shake thing, which is quite nice. It obviously looks better with impact added to the second part, but we're not going to be covering that today. So uh, yeah. Uh, now what you're gonna want to do is go up here and search for hotspots. Uh, this is a very cool plugin that I learned from uh, Fucking what's he called uh, penguin. It's very nice I'm sure other people have used it, but that's who I learned this from so uh, just go ahead and set this like 0 comma 2 0 comma 3 even up to 0 comma 4 and as you can see it does some cool shit right there So just keyframe that drag it to the end make another keyframe drag it down to 0 Just drag it to the start. You don't really have to change the keyframe a whole lot here uh, as you can see it, it it's pretty cool it's pretty cool uh but yeah you can just go ahead and maybe drag this down a bit and then just do that i mean once again it does look a whole lot better with the actual thing but yeah uh that's pretty much how you do this it's it's actually a very easy effect you know it's not complicated whatsoever but i just thought i'd show you some settings so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video you know make sure to leave a like comment subscribe all that good shit and i'll see you guys in a couple days and peace